Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine. And another little unboxing video, and this, yes, is another one from Cherry Red Records. And what one of the things that Cherry Red Records has helped me to do is to catch up. To catch up with stuff that I was too young to appreciate at the time, because I only had so much money. And if it wasn't in sounds, melody maker or enemy, I didn't, sometimes I didn't know it existed, or older friends at school or older friends' brothers hadn't got it, I didn't know. And we've seen that with bands like Vinegar Joe and Iron Butterfly, etc. But there's another end. And this is the 80s end where there were so many rock bands coming out of especially America that I was just overwhelmed. And I'm going to say a bit of a cliche thing here. A lot of them seem to look the same and potentially sound the same and record labels are falling over themselves to sign bands as they try to look for the next Rat, Dokken, Bon Jovi, uh, White Line, whoever else. And one of the bands that kind of like I didn't take much notice of was Faster Pussycat. I saw them as Aerosmith clones. There was, there was, a, there was a period in 80s hair metal. I hate that term, hair metal, because it was just hair, wasn't it? We just looked like it was a rock stars, you know. Um, but there was various trends that beyond the hair and the hairspray, and it was, there was the white bumper boots and the leg warmers period with the, um, with the very tight leggings. And then thanks to Steve Tyler, Joe Perry and his gang in Aerosmith, there were the scarves. The scarves that probably started off being tied around mic stands and they were tied around waists and they were tied around in the guitars and they were tied around heads and scarves. And Faster Pussycat were a scarves band, but also this is a type, this is towards the end of the 80s. Grunge was on the horizon and the kind of polished riffage that we think of as 80s AOR metal was moving into more of a kind of Guns N' Roses rock and roll kind of approach. Aerosmithy, um, you know, were a huge part of this. So this box set helps me to catch up with things that I... I didn't, I was not too young at the time, but I just missed, I just missed them. And so box sets like this are a great way to find out what the hell's going on. So let's dive in and have a look inside. This is Faster Pussycat, Babylon, The Electra Years, 1987 to 1992. It's four CDs from h &E, which is an imprint of Cherry Red Records. And it includes Faster Pussycat, Wait me when it's over, live and rare, and whipped. So let's have a look inside. Clamshell box. The first thing I have to say, because you know I'm, I'm not a fan really of these, but it is what it is. Uh, it's a fold-out poster which has some memorabilia on it. Um, some photos from the time. And on the back of it are the credits from the original albums. And you can see we've got some bonus tracks in there as well. Um, but I would prefer a booklet, but I guess price constraints or the, the profile of the band suggested otherwise. We've got the first album, Faster Pussycat, which is the one that I suddenly realised that I do know some of this, so at some of the rock discos I must have gone to, um, this must have been playing in the background, and I, I did I did like it, I do like it. And then we've got Wake Me Up When It's Over, which was the follow-up album. Again, they were all single sleeves anyway. And then we've got Live and Rare. Just six tracks on that. And then the one from the early 90s, where the band's image and obviously with the changing musical climate, they were changing as well. But if you're a fan or you're wanting to catch up, so when I say a fan, I don't necessarily mean a fan of the band because you may not be aware of them that much. Because obviously they were at the tail end of the 80s. If you're a fan of this type of rock music, you're a fan of rock music, let's call it that, then give this a spin. Listen to stream it as i said use streaming as a radio and if you like it then give and if you didn't please buy it but it's not a bad it's about 20 pounds and it's a great 
a great kind of collection of rock music from that point in time. As I said in the intro, it's when scarves ruled the world. So that's Faster Pussycat, Babylon, the electric years from 1987 to 1992. Um, H&E Records, which is an imprint of, of Cherry Red. I really, really enjoyed it. I've realised that, um, as I said, you know, that some of the albums in here, especially the first one, I actually knew some of the songs, so it must have been rock discos I went to, etc. The only thing I'm going to say about this that I felt was a little bit of a disappointment is it's it's got one of these fold out uh, poster things, which I've just mentioned, and I would have I prefer a booklet to put the band in historical context of what that was going on, what they're doing, hear a little bit from the band themselves, perhaps to how they felt about it, what happened afterwards. Um, but you know, it's it's keenly priced. It's 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 a nice box, and if you so if you're into um, this era of rock music and you want to know more about it, it's recommended. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for ringing that little bell. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell everyone you've ever known about Now Spinning Magazine. And I shall see you on my next video.